My name is Francis Bitanti. I'm the founder of Francis Bitanti Studio, and I'm a designer. We did a 3D printed gown for Duda Von Teese. It's entirely 3D printed gown, dyed black. It's covered in 12,000 crystals, and it has 3,000 unique moving parts. We're essentially developing a textile that was like highly differentiated and highly specific to certain parts of Dita's body. So that accounts for the differentiation from the 3,000 unique parts within that textile. We were limited by the size of the printer, so we, we broke that up into 12 parts. But those parts themselves were not differentiated, and once joined together, it produced one seamless fabric. And the entire dress has no seams in the end. It's all fused. She laces it up in the back, steps in, puts it on just like any other evening gown you might put on. I was coming from architecture and product design, and what we found was that developing a kind of second skin for the body wasn't really that much different than thinking about a building facade. You know, it was breaking up shapes in pretty much the same way. We've been working almost exclusively with 3D printing. One of the things we're noticing is that materials are becoming media. I'm not operating on materials, I'm operating on animations, I'm operating on video, I'm operating on pixels and polygons. It's, it's a lot closer to making a Hollywood film than it is doing, you know, making an aluminum cylinder or something, right? The separation between what you can simulate and what you can physically model is gone. What I'm finding every day is that I can make anything I can draw. And I can make something behave any way I can imagine it to behave. The gap just closes every day and it gets, it gets easier and easier to overcome what was science fiction.